Guys, let's talk about our friend Vesuvius today, not Campi Flegre. We've talked about this a lot. There's just a new study that shows an epidemic earthquake scenario. Link is in the description. Magnitude 2.0 at Vesuvius. So if Vesuvius is supposedly so quiet, why do we see always these earthquakes? You might see when we're talking about Campi Flegre, we see the list with the earthquake swarms and there's like, Campi, 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 oopsie, Vesuvius. Campi, 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 oopsie, Vesuvius. You might have seen my previous video that Campi Flegri and Vesuvius are indeed somewhat connected in a very, very interesting way. I'll put that video in the end screen. You should really watch that to understand the complex magnetic system there. And we now, as the year comes to an end, have our year analysis about what Vesuvius did. We recently talked about Campi Flegre. So, of course, a magnitude 0.2 gives people a shock because, like Campi Flegre, also, people are living up the slopes of Vesuvius. They haven't learned from Pompeii, it seems. And Pompeii was only one of the smaller eruptions. That the, people don't know that. So if Vesuvius were to erupt, everyone thinks like, ah, it's like going to be like Pompeii. But what about the Avellino eruption about 3,900 years ago, that was significantly larger. They have tried to give people 30,000 euros as an incentive to move away from the red zone, which is now probably even larger for Vesuvius, right? So let's talk about the earthquake first. Mount Vesuvius was shaken by a magnitude 2.0 earthquake. Epicenter was located beneath the northeast flank of the Gran Cono crater, which rises basically from the crater um, of several predecessor volcanic eruptions, right? The focal depth was only 600 meters below sea level. Two further weak tremors have followed, and yesterday a total of six earthquakes um, occurred beneath Vesuvius again. So is this cause for concern that we have Vesuvius rumbling and that we have Campi Flegre rumbling, escalating at Campi Flegre? So let's compare the years. So now we got the data from 2025. So if you look at the earthquakes, it was not too much of an alarming year at Mount Vesuvius. Earthquake activity um, is, though, slightly above the long-term average. It is slightly above. Some say it's only slightly above, but it is above, right? 755 earthquakes have been located so far in 2025. And if we look at 2024, of course, this differs very, very much from last year, which saw an above average number of 1,124 earthquakes. So it has come down this year. Most of the tremors that we see, they do generate volcano tectonic signals and basically are attributed to rocks or fracturing because fluids are moving. The INGV tells us that they think, they think, they don't say they're 100% sure, that these earthquakes are subsidence earthquakes. So it's not that something's rising, not that magma's rising up. They're subsidence earthquakes. And if you've seen my video, maybe the magma is underground going from Vesuvius towards Campi Flegre. Is it? Watch my video. So that would explain a subsidence, right? If there's a hollow space underneath Vesuvius that was filled with magma and that is getting less filled if you let the air out of a balloon. So subsidence is indicating a process, basically that is the opposite of a volcanic system getting ready. They have noticed that the summit of Vesuvius is sinking by 15 millimeters per year, not per month. We know Campi Flegre on the other end is right now rising 2.5 centimeters per month. So Vesuvius, it's sinking, slight subsidence that we are noticing. So, and that is similar to what's happening at another monstrosity of volcano, Yellowstone. So subsidence rates vary seasonally. So that could be that we have 
fluctuations within the hydrothermal system of these volcanoes. Of course, you also have these volcano tectonic earthquakes, right? These are long period earthquakes. When those earthquakes are happening, they indicate direct fluid system, right? They are detected at Vesuvio sporadically. So even though there are no direct signs of Vesuvius heating up, of the plumbing system underneath Vesuvius heating up means the magmatic system, it's still, it, I mean, it towers the region, Naples, with more than 6 million people. Everyone sees it every day. It's still a threat to millions of people. In addition to Capi Fligri, if you look at that map, these people are basically squeezed in between two of the world's most, how can we say, fateful monstrosities of volcanoes. And for a very, very long time, people in Italy thought Vesuvius is the monster. They did not have Campi Fligri on the radar because Campi Fligri is not a stratovolcano. It's like, it spans 410 square kilometers. So it's huge and it's like terrain, hilly, beautiful, well, flat compared to Vesuvius, highly fertile, of course, because of volcanic soil. So that's why it's the most densely populated supervolcano in the world. It's highly, and Vesuvius probably as well. So whew, let's take a deep breath. This is critical for Italy. I don't worry about Vesuvius right now though, guys. I worry about Campi Fligri. So I'll put some Campi Fligri videos for you in the end screen for you to look at because basically every day we get news from Campi Fligri. This study is escalating. This study, oh my God, the cap rock layer is getting weaker and weaker. And each study finds a new Achilles heel. Like here, that spot, earthquakes are lining up, a new fracture has posed. Here, they found a vertical crack that's basically like a straw punching into the magma chamber. Here, it's only that much pressure needed for that stuff to come up. So scientists are warning we could at least see a phreatic eruption, which would be bad enough because the red zone basically lives right on top of that volcano, Pozzuoli. At least 80,000 people, but probably 500,000 people if you if you go to the larger red zone. And discussions are still being made. What should we do? Everyone's scared of evacuation because of tourism, property values, investments. And they're already feeling it. The merchants in Pozzuoli, it seems like streets are more empty. Shops are emptying out, dying off. People are like, Ugh. right? They have evacuated Rione Terra. That's the oldest part of Pozzuoli in the 1970s, forcefully with the military, very traumatizing for many residents. And then nothing happened, right? And the volcano didn't um, explode. So now they're traumatized. They're careful politicians. They want to be reelected. It's hard. It's hard. It's an ongoing story. So guys, I'll put the Campi Fligri stuff here, the latest videos, but also the connection, Vesuvius and Campi Fligri. And hey guys, if you're interested what's happening above us, the interstellar mysterious object, 3i Atlas is creating new mysteries every day. So I hope to see you here in a second. Thanks for supporting this channel. Bye-bye.